Uh, Ambassador Aujali, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can you first give us an update? So what is the situation there now? How have the rebels progressed? Well, the, the situation now is very good. Uh, the uh, revolution is there, uh, making a very good advance from the west and from the east. Brega now it is uh, surrounding by the revolutionary uh, group, and uh, the delay of the progress of the uh, opposition because the Gaddafi's regime they plant more than 40,000 mi uh, mines, land mines, against uh, personnel and against uh, tanks. And in the west of uh, Libya, which is the mountain, they are also coming very close to uh, Tripoli. Uh, I think we are in a very good shape on the ground, very good shape. There were reports that yesterday Tripoli was um, penetrated, in essence, with an assassination attempt. These are accurate reports? Yes, the assassination attempt uh, happened. Uh, and uh, I do understand that Mansour uh, Daw, he is the chief of the Gaddafi security, was injured, and uh, his son Saif al Islam, and uh, the Prime Minister al Baghdadi, and Abdullah Sunusi. Uh, maybe they have a slight injury, but I have not seen any report of uh, any killing uh, among them. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very important action. It is in the in the heart of Tripoli. Uh, which is Gaddafi is no safe now from the revolutionary people. There is concern that despite NATO support, NATO air support, that, um, that it's taking longer than anticipated at first. Would you agree that it's taking longer than anticipated and is that a reason for concern? Uh, I do agree it takes a long time. But uh, put in mind that Gaddafi he been in power for 42 years. Mm -hmm. Gaddafi's first concern always, since he uh, led the coup d'état in '69, that his security and security of his family, and uh, he bought a lot of weapons. The brigades there under his sons or under his loyal people. Um, we have no army then Libyan people, they find themselves facing a regular army, armed with the latest uh, technology of weapons and tanks. And Gaddafi used, as you know, that the air to strike the opposition. Mm -hmm. Then there is no comparison between the revolutionaries and the Gaddafi's forces. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, I know that it will take long time. It is just like uh, a cancer for 42 years and the operation to get it out, it needs a long of time and very good surgeon to get it out. Yeah. Despite the uh, military operations, uh, there are seemingly efforts uh, on the diplomatic front. So there was reports that the Italians were working with the TNC for a ceasefire in which Gaddafi would also leave. Is this a plausible scenario? Do you think a ceasefire is possible with Gaddafi leaving voluntarily? Even I believe that Gaddafi, he will not leave alive. Mm. But as you know that the end of any crisis is always a political solution, yeah. always table. We bring different people on the same table to find out a solution for the crisis, then this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But the main issue for me, at least personally, and I think the same thing for the TNC and for the Libyan people, that any solution for this crisis, that Gaddafi and Gaddafi's family and close alliance, they will not be part of the, any future political settlement in Libya. And also that they should have no uh, place to stay in Libya. Gaddafi, the man, you never trust. Mm. We, we will have no democracy, we will have no freedom of speech, we will have no election as far as he is around. Gaddafi, he took Libya as his farm. Mm -hmm. He do what he like, he uh, appoint whom he likes, he kill whom he doesn't like. Mm. Then any solution uh, with Gaddafi's presence that will not be acceptable he, by anybody, I believe. So he must leave he the must country. must leave the country. If you trust a snake uh, in your house, mm. a cobra in your house, not to bite, mm. then you can trust Gaddafi not to attack the Libyan people and conspires to uh, destabilize Libya from the east to west. Mm. 
Mr. Ambassador, can you speak about the uh, international support towards the TNC? Uh, is the TNC satisfied? More can be done? Do you expect more coming? Well, I'm very happy to see the international support uh, mm -hmm. for the Libyan uh, revolution, mm -hmm. for the Libyan people, for, to give them the hope and the determination, the Libyan people, they're determined to get rid of this regime. And the international support, it, as we've seen from the beginning of this revolution, it is increasing now more than 40 countries uh, recognize the, the TNC. Mm -hmm. And their political support is very important. But at the same time, the NATO mission have to continue mm -hmm. uh, to stop Gaddafi from killing his own people. Mm -hmm. This is very serious. Uh, the American recognition is very important. It is very hysterical for us. Uh, you know that the American, they played from the beginning a very important role. And we expect that after the American recognition, also many countries will follow who have not decided what to do with their position, even if they are sympathized with the revolution, but is still in doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm very happy with the international support. My message to the international community that, that there is no place for Gaddafi to stay behind. If Gaddafi stay in Libya, then the Libyan people will never be safe. He is the man who ordered the killing and the massacre of killing. Mm -hmm. If Gaddafi is there, the international community will never be safe. You see there are some disturbance in Tunisia now and in Egypt. Gaddafi sent his own people, his intelligence, to these countries to, 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 to create problems. Mm -hmm. Then uh, he threatened Europe, as you, you see right. maybe in the news, that right. he will attack them back. He's desperate now. He can't do anything with, at the time being. But we have to be careful that mm -hmm. we will never give Gaddafi a shelter in Libya after the revolution is, uh, is uh, victory. Now, I want to talk about Turkey uh, for a moment. Uh, when I interviewed you in March, uh, you mentioned that you were shocked with Turkey's position. You said that Turkey looked like it was supporting Gaddafi. Um, things have changed, hasn't it? Um, what do you think of Turkey's position now as the TNC? That's true. I remember very well that uh, interview, and uh, I told you in that interview I am always admired of uh, Mr. Erdogan. Mm -hmm. He's a very respected man. and. Uh, he inspired many young people in the Muslim and Arab worlds, and uh, he presented the Islam the way we like to present to the to, to the world. Mm -hmm. But I was really disappointed for the first few statements he made concerning Libya, and uh, of course the statement, especially he made when he uh, supported that Gaddafi will name a person who mm -hmm. Libyan will accept, and that's mean mean to me exactly is safe al Islam. Okay. Uh, and, now. And now? I am very happy to see Turkey that they are shift 180 degree. That's what really Libya expect from Turkey. Turkey is a big brother, Turkey a big partner, and Turkey they have interest in Libya. Mm -hmm. And this interest will continue with us. Turkey, they are a member of NATO, and we depend on them. Mm -hmm. You prove now that Turkey is really the major player, uh, really a support of democracy, and we are very happy. We are I'm very glad now. Um, I have to thank Turkey very much for their support to accommodate Libyan injuries who came from Musrata, yeah. and that's, uh, that's a great thing to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Ambassador Avjali, representative of the TNC in Washington, D.C., thank you very much. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you.